you know, when it comes to mental illness and bipolar disorder in my community right now, uh, there are people that believe that they are great artists because they live with bipolar disorder. Uh, I am not of that belief. Uh, I believe that people are a great artist because they are a great artist. The disease that is trying to kill you doesn't get credit for your goodness. I found myself out of work around the holidays and White Castle, where I go to get my Diet Coke every morning, uh, said, you're here more than usual. And I said, I, I know I'm, I'm, I'm not working that job anymore, so I have a lot of free time. And they're like, oh, do you want to work here? And I thought, okay, well, that's money. Yes, I will work here. So then they, they come to me and they said, hey, we, we need a Santa. And, and I said, what do I have to do? And they said, well, we, we have this $19 suit uh, that we want you to, to cavort your body into and be Santa. Santa. And I said, why do you want me to be Santa? And they said, because you're the biggest guy here that we trust with children. And I thought, all right. It's coming, don't worry. There she is. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. Santa is awesome. People love Santa. Um, and, and I can't over, I, I wish that there was like a level of enthusiasm that I could pass on to how people react to Santa Claus. They love him. He is a and, and I, I don't mean children, like, you're like, oh, kids love him. No, adults. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of the Psych Central Show podcast. My name is Gabe Howard, and with me, as always, is Vincent M. Wales. Vincent, wish everybody a Merry Christmas. I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder in 2003, back in 2003, and I was 25. And I didn't know that I was sick. Uh, so because nobody in my family, me, the people that I hung out with, understood what mental illness was, we thought my symptoms were behavioral problems. So you know, my parents were grounding me for having the symptoms of bipolar disorder. We constantly fight, fought. They couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. And I really just thought that all of the problems that I were having were just my personality. I just thought that I was a bad kid with a bad personality. Uh, then I became an adult, so uh, clearly I just thought that I was a bad adult with a, a reckless personality. and. We just didn't understand, and I say we to mean, you know, me, the people around me, and, and frankly, just society at large. Uh, I thought about suicide every day, as far back as I can remember. I never remember not thinking about it. Come on, get your dad. Go all the way, all the way, all the way, yay! <laughs> and, and I think about where I am now and how much luck it took, and, it, you know, it's one of the reasons that I'm a, I'm a, you know, a mental illness advocate, because it just shouldn't come down to luck. Mm. Uh, and it's, it, it disturbs me that I get to be the lucky one. But now I work at the Peer Center. And I said to the folks at the Peer Center, uh, has Santa ever come here? And they're like, yeah, we're not paying a Santa. And I was like, well, have you thought to get a volunteer Santa? And then I remembered that, yeah, yeah people don't volunteer for homeless adults. They don't volunteer for people with mental, I, I shouldn't say nobody does. I don't mean to speak in absolutes, but you know, the, the Santa industry will volunteer at, you know, children's hospital. You know, they, they just got a line of Santas that want to come to the children's hospital. So then I thought, well, now I just got to be Santa Claus just anywhere that nobody will be a Santa Claus. It was a really, really cool experience. It showed me that we're all the same. Um, and, and to be perfectly, I, you know, I should have known that. You know, I, I work in this and I tell people all the time that we're all the same, but you know, sometimes, you know, you forget. One, two, three. Yeah.